Have you ever wondered why some people may seem overly sensitive or reactive in certain situations? Childhood trauma is a significant and frequently overlooked matter that can profoundly impact an individual's mental, emotional, and physical health. Sadly, it's often dismissed or misunderstood as merely being too sensitive or overly reactive. However, it's crucial to understand that the effects of childhood trauma can manifest in various ways and may not always be apparent on the surface. In this video, we will delve into three signs that what might seem like being too sensitive is actually a result of childhood trauma. Intense emotional reactions. Have you ever found yourself feeling extremely anxious, angry, or upset in response to minor stressors or triggers? Childhood trauma can have a profound and lasting impact on how you regulate your emotions. As trauma psychologist, Dr. Sarah Anderson explains, it's not uncommon for someone who has experienced childhood trauma to have intense emotional reactions that may seem disproportionate, such as extreme anxiety, anger, or upset in response to seemingly innocuous situations or minor stressors. For example, a person who has experienced childhood trauma may exhibit heightened emotional reactions in situations that others may perceive as minor or inconsequential. It's important to recognize that intense emotional reactions to seemingly trivial situations can be a sign of childhood trauma and not simply dismissed as being overly sensitive or irrational. Understanding the link between childhood trauma and emotional regulation can help you seek appropriate support and interventions such as therapy to address and heal from the impact of your past traumatic experiences. Persistent avoidance of certain situations. Have you ever found yourself constantly avoiding certain situations or experiences? As a psychologist who has conducted extensive research on trauma, Dr. Sarah Johnson has found the persistent avoidance of certain situations can be a significant indicator of childhood trauma. It's important to understand that when you constantly avoid specific places, people, or activities that remind you of your past traumatic experiences, it may go beyond just being too sensitive and could be a coping mechanism developed in response to childhood trauma. For instance, those who experienced childhood abuse may avoid family gatherings or social events with the abuser. This persistent avoidance disrupts daily life and relationships and may result in isolation. Dr. Johnson's research indicates that avoidance is a common coping mechanism in response to childhood trauma that creates a sense of control or safety. However, persistent avoidance can slow down processing past trauma, delaying healing and growth. Recognizing avoidance as a sign of childhood trauma is crucial and seeking help from a mental health expert specializing in trauma can promote healing and recovery. Remember, you are not alone and there are professionals who can provide support on your healing journey. Interference with daily functioning. Have you ever wondered why you find it challenging to concentrate or stay motivated on your daily tasks or why social interactions trigger anxiety or withdrawal? It could be due to childhood trauma. As Dr. Leeson Thompson, a psychologist specializing in trauma explains, childhood trauma can significantly interfere with your ability to function in your daily life, impacting your work, school, relationships, and self-care routines. Here's a fictional story to illustrate. Mark experienced a traumatic event during his childhood. As a result, he has difficulty concentrating on his work tasks, feels unmotivated, and has challenges with social interactions, leading to strained relationships with others. Mark also neglects his self-care routines and struggles with low energy and self-worth. However, Mark decided to seek help from a trauma-specialized psychologist. Through therapy, he learned coping strategies, improved communication skills, and built trust in his relationships. With the support of his therapist, Mark regained his ability to concentrate, stayed motivated, and rebuilt meaningful connections. He also prioritized self-care, engaging in activities that brought him joy. Over time, Mark effectively managed the impact of childhood trauma on his daily life and experienced significant improvement in his overall well-being. Childhood trauma can deeply affect well-being, and dismissing experiences as too sensitive may not be helpful. It's important to acknowledge the significance of these experiences. Signs such as emotional overreactions, avoidance, or struggles with daily functioning could be indicative of trauma. Remember, seeking help from a qualified mental health provider can be an important step in addressing and healing from these experiences. It's never too late to seek support for your healing journey. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and tune in for more insightful content.